What's up? Welcome to the video. I hope you're doing, hope you're jolly, hope you're swell. I'm doing good myself. Thank you so much for asking. Listen, I'm going to do a quick update here on what Affinity has done for version 2.5 or what I think are the important ones or the ones you're going to use the most. And we're going to start with variable font support. So first of all, what are variable fonts? Well, normally when you download a font file, sometimes you'll get six or seven files in there because there's a thin, a, a regular, a bold, an extra bold. Variable fonts come as one file. And the cool thing about them is you can go in between all those options above, below. So you have way more flexibility on making you know, thin lines or thicker lines when you're when you're actually making your text. But the thing is not all fonts are variable. In fact, many fonts you have on your computer probably aren't. So this option won't be available to you. So let me quickly show you what I mean. I'm gonna grab my text tool and I'm gonna type out the word design. Not like that, like this. Okay, and the font I'm using up here is Arial, which is a classic font. You can see there's a regular version, there's italics, there's bold, italics, and bold. Um, but with my text selected, my variable font button is here, but it's not actually available to me because I either don't have an updated version or it's actually just not available with this text. So let's show you on a version that is. Uh, I'm gonna grab this uh, font here, and this is EB Garamond, which should be installed on your computer. It's pretty, uh, it's a default. Um, and right now you can see I have the option available to me. So if I click on that, I have one slider here. Some of these fonts are gonna have two or three sliders depending, and you can see it can just move the weight back and forth. So I could create a version like this. I could duplicate it, and I could grab the variable font and make it a little bit bigger. I can grab the variable font again, and I can make it even bigger. So it's cool for design to do um, different weights and stroke sizes and all that stuff in between. Uh, let me grab one more font here just to show you. This one here is called AR1 Sans. And this one, if I go to variable font, only has, or it has two slider bars. And you'll see if I slide this one up here, there's a little bit of a change to it depending on the font. It kind of goes up and down. And it also has a weight option as well. So variable fonts, really cool, uh, but may not be a ton of use yet if you don't have any installed, Or, but you can always just search for variable fonts and then download them. It kind of makes uh, your design kind of cool and different options. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is they added a topography panel, which might be useful to some people. I'm going to write out text again and say, hello. And uh, if you go up to window, text, and topography, you'll get a panel here. Um, and you have some different options to change some different things. Uh, depending on what you're working with. So there's the topography channel or panel. <laughs> uh, and next up, let's talk about the, and that, sorry, that's also, the topography is also through designer, publisher, and photo. Now we'll talk about the QR code, which is also on all of them. Now you may not see the QR code in your tools here. It may not show up by default. So if you're missing your QR code option, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to view, customize tools, and your QR code one is right here. You're gonna click, drag it into your toolbar, and once you're done, you can hit close at the bottom here. And the cool thing here is you click on this QR code and it's gonna say, okay, you're gonna drag out a QR code. And okay, cool, I got a QR code, how do I edit it? Well, up in the top here, you can put in your URL. So you could click up here and you could change it from a URL to a phone, SMS, email, whatever you want to scan there, you can do that. And you can put in your um, address here and this little button, the target, will take you to that website just to confirm that's what you're looking for. And you can also change how you want it to look. So I could you know, move this around. Um, I could put a background behind it, I suppose. That would work. Let me put a rectangle behind it, make it a different color. That would be an awful QR code, but you could do something like that and you could scan it to test it to make sure it's working. So this uh, is also again available, publisher, designer, and photo. And that's the QR code tool. Okay, so now we're in Affinity Designer and this is just for designer. I wanna mention this, it's the stroked width tool. So it's cool, it's right here in your toolbar. Uh, it looks like the shortcut by default is W. Now, if you're not seeing it in your toolbar, just go up to uh, view, customize tools, and you can pull it in from there. So I'll uh, quickly show you how it works. I'm gonna grab my pen tool and just draw out a line like that. Wow, exciting. Now with my stroke selected, I'm gonna to go to the stroke width tool right here, click on it, and then this gives me this option to kind of move this around this way, this way, make it bigger, make it smaller. So I could make that, uh, I could duplicate it and move it around like this and then go back to the stroke width tool and change it so it looks a little bit different like that. So just a cool thing to change strokes if you're doing uh, you know, bigger illustrations and you really want to get defined with it. It's a pretty cool option. So that's the stroke width tool in Affinity Designer. And those are the updates I think are the important ones. There is the variable fonts, which is really neat. Um, there's the topography panel, which is cool. There is the QR code option now, which is great. And there's the stroke width tool in Affinity Designer. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, um, tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my stuff before and you found this helpful, well, why don't you subscribe? 
hang out with us. We're uh, the coolest kids in class around uh, internet. We're the coolest. Okay. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.